hey guys so welcome back with another video and in this video I'll be teaching you how to convert the grease pencil sketch into a 3d mesh and if you haven't seen my last video which was about how to make a grease pencil drawing so I did this drawing a while ago and now I'm gonna turn this into a 3d mesh and by the way this file this blender file will be available to download for free uh, I think I'll put the link in the description which will which will actually redirect you to my Google uh, Drive so yeah download the files from there and you can follow the tutorial step by step from that so without any further ado let's start the video so now I'm gonna switch to the my 2d animation so now what we'll do is now we have to convert this whole mesh into a Bezier curve so right now what you'll have to do is select everything by pressing a and then go to object then go to convert to and you'll see bezier curve press on that and now there's there's an extra setting on our scene collections which is lines so we need to actually use that so check your lines and now we don't really need the stroke so hide the strokes and now you're left with the curves so now the actual magic begins so now you'll also have another setting down here which is similar to this icon so make sure you're selected to the lines and this curve thing you see this C inverted C so select this setting and this will give you a whole bunch of things which you'll not need so I'm gonna minimize everything yeah so right now you only need to activate this geometry so click on geometry and click on bevel so yeah right now you only need these two so right now I'll show you something really cool so now when you increase the depth as you can see it's changing the depth of the whole Bezier curve and this is really really cool if you're if you're trying to make a like a wireframe of a car or maybe a jet plane this can be a great tool for you as you can see like it's so cool it's already giving it like a 3d view like you know it shows the whole wireframe of the object you can add a seat inside and maybe anything you want like a post apocalyptic thing and some parts are like broken and everything so I leave that upon your artistic taste I mean taste so yeah let's reduce the depth and there's one more setting is extrude this will extrude everything uh, kind of like you know vertically like uh, ice cream sticks <laughs> you see this ice cream sticks this is really cool as well but we don't really need it so let's turn both of them off but if you need it you can actually use them according to your want so yeah so now we want to try it. we want to make it into a 3d mesh so we will have to convert this Bezier curve into a mesh so again select everything by pressing a and then go to object and then go to convert and then go to mesh from curve so select it and now it's a mesh as uh, so as you can see now we are in in the object mode so make sure your object is selected and then you can hit hit tab or you can go to the object mode and go to the edit mode so you can also you can do like by pressing tab or just going manually so yeah and now we're in the edit mode now the actual fun begins so now what we'll have to do is actually s hit uh, select this uh, you, as you can see on top we have like a point selection only so whenever we try to select anything by left clicking as you can see it's selecting a single point right so we don't really need this we actually want to select a whole like a ho the whole line itself so you see there's an edge selection edge selection only so select that and then whenever you try to select something by press uh, by holding alt it's gonna select the whole edge itself 
like pr uh, hold alt and press on a line it's gonna select the whole edge as you can see so this is really cool and now I'll show you how to add a mesh inside so hold your alt and then press any select uh, lines and now when it's selected you can press F F means fill and it's gonna fill that selection with a plane so let's do it on the other side by the way you can also like delete half of the part and add a like mirror modifier but right now I'm not gonna do it because uh, like there will be a lot of beginners watching this so I'll try to make this much more manual and a bit more time taking but this will give them give them a much better understanding so yeah let's do the rudders by holding alt pressing them and pressing F let's do the same thing here and by the way I'm really really bad at modeling so please forgive me I'm still learning how to model like polygonal modeling so yeah I might not be the best person to teach it but when I'll actually learn polygonal modeling really good I'll make another tutorial like an update of this tutorial and it's gonna be much better than this one trust me it will take some time I think because uh, polygonal modeling is kind of hard but not really that hard <coughs> so yeah now all you have to do is just select and fill and of course if you know how to model you can do all sort of things like extrude things then make cut selections and there's a lot of great things you can do so yeah make sure to learn your modeling <laughs> So let's do it here. Let's do it other side. So yeah, this is looking okay. So I'll just leave it here because as I've said earlier, I'm not really a great modeler. So I might mess it up. Okay, so guys, now I'm gonna show you something really, really cool. So now switch back to object mode by pressing tab and now I'm gonna show you how to add volumetrics like imagine if you wanna light this spacecraft of yours and wanna make it look really cool so what you'll have to do is press shift A so shift A is used to add something to your 3D scene so let's go to mesh and add a plane first and let's resize it by pressing S and then a number like I'm gonna press 10 so it's gonna make it a much bigger and then let's move it down a little bit yeah so this looks right and uh, make sure make sure your environment go to the w context world and make sure your environment value is kind of uh, really close to black but not really don't uh, like use full black because it's gonna make everything black like the shadows and everything and that's that only happens when you're in space when there is like no bounce light and stuff so yeah so don't make it full black and now let's add a light by pressing shift a going to the light and point light let's move it up a bit and now let's go to the rendered mode so how do you go to the rendered mode so on top right above this gimbal you'll see this four circle things so the first one is like a wireframe mode then second one is like a solid mode and stuff so yeah so the fourth one is actually your rendered mode so press that and you can see the render but the light is really low right so select your light then go to the light bulb icon here and in the power increase it to like 200 oh wait it's 2000 <laughs> yeah select 200 and press enter as you can see it looks really cool now so let's place our light according to our want 
so this looks good yeah so now what you'll do is go to the mm, render settings here where you change the render engine and select ambient occlusion select bloom select screen space reflection and then go to shadows and select this shop, uh, soft shadows it's really a tongue twister <laughs> so yeah you have to select all this and uh, now what we'll do is I'll show you a great trick how to add like volumetric lighting uh, like a really foggy scene and maybe like a moist uh, like a, uh, a lot of noise in here N not noise I mean a lot of dust yeah dust particles so first you'll have to make a uh, you know cube so sh press shift a go to mesh then select a cube and make sure the cube is so big that it extends everything so make it really big not too big but yeah make sure it extends your camera and everything so it doesn't come in your way like while you're viewing stuff so yeah so now what we'll do is go to the shading tab but we don't have a shading tab on top so you'll press on this plus icon then go to general and then select this shading and now you're in the shading tab and let's go to the rendered mode let's zoom in a bit yeah and now your cube make sure your cube is selected the big cube so press it like press at the background and it select it automatically and now hit new material so now you'll see these two weird looking things like it's some sort of like trigonometry calculus type of thing don't worry about it it's not really scary so first of all select the principal bsdf by pressing on it and then delete it yeah you don't really need this and now you're gonna add a, like a volumetric so press shift a go to search and then type principal and when you'll write like pri it it will already show you like two of them so we already deleted the bsdf because we don't really need it we need the principled volume so select it and place it and now you'll have to connect this volume to the vo material output make sure it's uh, on the volume so connect volume to volume and now uh, your screen will go black and don't worry this is really normal because your density is 1 so now reduce it to like 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 so let's zoom in a bit and now you can see the magic it looks so cool like there's so much dust in air it it looks it looks like a scene from a movie you know it's already looking so cool but because of this shitty looking model <laughs> it's not as cool so yeah so let's add a color to our volumetrics by pressing on this color and selecting a, like a blue tint or something yeah this looks cool now I'm going back to the 2d animation so yeah that's it that's it guys and now you can model the plane yourself I already told you how to like make it into a bezier curve and 3d mesh and if you're good at modeling you will actually make this like really really good and uh, because I'm not really that good at modeling so I'm I'm not the best one to teach it right now and even if I tried it would turn out really shit so yeah I I need some time to learn 3d modeling so yeah guys I'm really like hoping to see some great stuff from you you can tag me on Instagram uh, by art by ha that's my handle and I'm a concept artist so yeah let's let's meet in another video and uh, yeah you can download the file in the description and please if you like the video hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends maybe subscribe if you want to <laughs> yeah that would help a lot so let's meet in another video and see you guys bye bye